Hi, Virgo. This is Jeffrey. This is Ripe Color. And this is the reading for the month of January. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I offer IET, which is a healing modality. I feel like I need to be closer to the table. Um, I have a beautiful website, ripecolor.com. <laughs> I move, I forget my script. Uh, please visit, I make scarves and, uh, and t-shirts and all sorts of other things. And I'd be happy to mail them to you. Um, what else? I do uh, daily readings with Nancy Jean. I do monthly readings as we are. I also, the yearly readings are already up. It's gonna be in a playlist by sign. Uh, so it's easier to find. And uh, I also do weekly readings. Weekly readings are available for members. Membership is $2.99 a month. Buy me a cup of coffee, por favor. And um, it's commercial free. And, you know, things are commercial free. I usually get into more detail on the weeklies. And away we go. You know, I'm running late. Uh, you know, I'm running late. And I have to, you know, I can get very... Okay, you're Virgo, oh, you get it. Like, I like everything in, in its place and in order, and I like to be on time. And sometimes it's like, it's just not going to work out. It's like, okay. You can see how well I let go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, there's just been a lot of uh, going on, a lot of obstacles, and it's like, I'm just making my way through as best I can. And some of you know, I had a trip to Mexico. I canceled the trip. I canceled the trip because it's just too unsafe right now. And I really feel not so good about it, but I, you know, I had to do what I had to do. Also, I'm taking care of myself and that's really important, really important. And so, you know, Mexico will be there. One, two, three. Okay, we begin with the Queen of Cups, the empath, the healer, the intuitive, the dreamer, which isn't a bad thing. We have the chariot. So, and the chariot is really about uh, the ability and the willingness and a, a clear vision of a plan and how to execute it. And it, it moves, it moves. And we have the lovers. The lovers is really about choice, but it's also about combining energies. It's about duality. It's about, there's an angel here. So I kind of am getting this combo because, you know, the chariot also has this energy of like dark and light. This has, you know, two different energies. So I feel like there's an, there are energies combining you know, like maybe um, psychically, you know, you're getting how to combine certain elements or certain opposites and make them somehow work. You know, it's kind of like oil and vinegar in a way. So, um, you know, oil and vinegar, like they don't really mix, but somehow we all make salad dressing out of it, right? If they had the vinegar first. Yeah, there's a healing, there's, there's an intuitive quality to this. This is almost like, I feel like you really were blessed with like a, a, like a vision, like a vision um, that you're going to, that you have a plan toward uh, manifesting. Oh boy, we get another ace. So th there's really a lot of information coming through, a lot of information and a lot of passion coming through. And it's just, it seems brand new. It's like, okay, well, it's 2022. I almost said 21. It's 2022. And, you know, I'm going to, hmm, I don't, even though it feels like, what it feels like is that uh, you're getting everything ready. It doesn't feel like you're, you're quite moving. Even though this is a card of moving, I feel like, there's all this info coming through and, you know, at the, so at the beginning of the month, say, wow, wow. 
this is a lesson learned. This is um, this is a lesson learned and and a rebirth through it. So it's almost as if you know all the experience of twenty and twenty one has really um, helped you to evolve. And it's through that that you're that you're going to build this new. Um, you're going to give birth to something new, basically. Oh my God! You have another ace. So this is a whole new everything. This is a whole new everything. This is like really about really going back to the garden and um it's almost like you're you're creating and planting a whole new you a whole new um i don't even know how to describe it um it's like all the stuff that you learned and all the experiences you've gone through you, you have, can't imagine how many birds are outside like 12 it's insane. They don't, you know, they're they're sparrows, so they're kind of quiet, but they're really a lot. And it's 28 degrees, by the way. Um, yeah, I feel like you're planting a new garden. Like you it, like it's something you never even thought of. And it's like this is something you never even thought of, and, and a whole new everything is coming along. You're getting it, and you're you know, it it, it feels good. It's creative, it, it, it's um, intuitive. All the stuff from the past is, is actually feeding you. It's kind of a fertilizer in the garden. This is really exciting, like super exciting by far. So you're my fifth, you know, I do a different order every week. This is like by, like by far the most, um, It's the most powerful reading I've done so far. This could be something based in the home. This could be, there's, there's a real stability to it. There's a real stability to it. There's a real sense of comfort. There's a sense of celebration. This is really, really lovely. Really, really lovely. Yeah. And, you know, you're ready to take action and you have a strategy because, you know, you're Virgo. So, of course, you have a strategy. Wow. Wow. It, it's really, um, there's a combo going on here. I'm telling you, um, you have two angels, but I feel like there's a combination of something from the past and something new that you're going to merge and marry in a way in order to move it. Like, let's say, I don't know, you're a really good writer. And, um, you know, and maybe you write, maybe you don't, or maybe you did it years ago and you're sort of like, eh, you know, I could do it, it's easy and I'm really, uh. and now all of a sudden you discovered or you're really into doing illustration, right? I'm just trying to give an example. You know, sometimes I don't know where they come from. And so now you're going to, you know, make all these books, you're going to make all these uh, children's books or something. Uh, and, you know, and you have a plan. It's like, I'm going to sell it on Amazon. I have them. I already have an Etsy site. Blah, blah, blah. It's like that. And it, it, there's no stopping you at this point. There's like no stopping you. It's like, okay. Oh, you know, and then, the more, and as you're doing it, you get more ideas. It's like, oh, and I can make greeting cards and I can make mugs and you know, blah, 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 whatever. It could be a home-based business. It could definitely be a home-based business. Um, it has something to do with the garden. There's a healing. There's a, there's a genuineness and a, um, a sweetness and a newness. And it's, I think it's going to change the way you look at money and the way you look at security. Very, 
Really fascinating, really fascinating little read. Three aces. So it's really the beginning. It's really the beginning. And it's a really exciting. I always feel like the aces, all of them, no matter what. I mean, look, a lot of the cards are really weird. I mean, here, you know, you've got dead people rising and, you know, this big thing. And then at, like half an angel with a horn, you know, I mean, they're all a little weird. But the aces in particular, I always feel like, you know, because the aces fit into the lower uh, arcana, the higher arcana, like the big cards like this and this. But the aces, you know, they begin and um, they're about leadership, but also it's like this weird hand floating around in the ether and just giving you something. So I always feel like the aces are like our higher self or, or the Godhead or whatever. It's like, here you go. Here you go. That's the way it always feels like it's a gift. It's like a gift from spirit. Like yeah, do whatever you want with it. Right. Anyway, really lovely, really lovely. Seems really exciting, and I'm excited for you. Blessings.